It's something feared by computer users around the globe. The blue screen of death. Computer viruses can wreak havoc to your system, slowing down and deleting files, freezing browser pages, and even stealing valuable information. According to Joe Silverman, CEO of New York Computer Health, creating harmful viruses has gone from a hacker's hobby to a multi-billion dollar business. There's a number of reasons why people might spread a virus. It's, you know, just to have their, their name behind it, to say that they've created it, which is awful. Um, another reason is just they're trying to get people's credit card information to get into their accounts and, you know, get their funds. <laughs> That's the second one. And the third way is, you know, a lot of these um, organizations are through marketing where, you know, it's called spyware. So essentially they get the virus on the computer so that they could actually learn, you know, what web browsing, uh, you know, where they go on websites. And therefore from there they might, you know, spam them in terms of their browsing history. Viruses can be transmitted through email and internet sites, and they're not as obvious as pop-ups and spam messages anymore. Recent strains have used techniques to become less visible to users, such as popular rogues which disguise themselves as helpful tools like fake software upgrades. Other types of viruses include trojans, which appear to be ordinary links, and malware, which seem to have no purpose besides complete destruction. The most prevalent ones, I mean, right now that we see is called the SysGuard virus and that could actually make believe that it's a certain you know, antivirus or point you in a direction where you should install something to remove, uh, uh, say, an infectious virus. Um, so if you see anything, say, like in the bottom right of your PC that says, click here to install you know, a virus software, don't do it. <laughs> you, 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 basically, any type of pop-up like that, you know your computer's infected and, and you should probably bring it to a, a tech repair shop, if anything. To protect yourself, computer technician J.J. Maron advises against opening unknown or suspicious links and downloading music or pirated files. He also advises to upgrade antivirus software to monitor your system and memory. Scanning the memory uh, can mean a couple of different things. Uh, there is the hard drive, which has all of your files on it, and then there's the RAM, which is, uh, you can think of it as short-term memory. Um, a virus can place itself in both, and your antivirus and anti-spyware programs will be able to scan both. I would recommend a complete scan. Many of the antivirus programs will just do a quick scan on like a weekly or, or a daily basis, depending on your settings. But it's always good to do a comprehensive or full scan with the program as well after you've updated it. There are several websites online, such as Norton or Macav, that offer free scanners. But even the most savvy user can fall prey, and Maron says the key is prevention. The dangers of having viruses are really security issues. Uh, there's no reason to toss your computer in the garbage can once you have a virus. Uh, it can be removed. Uh, it's localized on the hard drive and uh, the RAM occasionally. And even if you just do a simple reformat reinstall, which most people are hesitant to do because it will erase all of their other data, that is the best way to get rid of a virus. In terms of businesses being affected, uh, they should look at it more from a preventative standpoint. Um, they really need to keep ahead of the game because they are protecting other individuals' information uh, as well as company secrets, uh, etc. That's the big issue there. Most importantly, never forget to back up your files. For Good Morning KSA, this is Shruti Mather in New York City.